equals the sum of 1 over n factorial times x to the n for x in the real numbers, then f prime equals f. Okay, before we start here, just think in your minds for a second. You might recognize that power series. Do you recognize what that power series is? And if not, if you don't recognize that power series, think about what functions you know have the property that f prime equals f. Okay, think about that. At the end, we'll spill the beans and remind you what happens there. Okay, but without using the fact that we know what this function is, let's just approach it uh, as it's asking here. So we'll start off with the proof here. It says if f of x equals this quantity, we want to show that f prime equals f. Okay, so f of x equals f of x equals the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of 1 over n factorial x to the n for any x or for any x in the real numbers. So what happens when we take a derivative just using power rules? That would mean that f prime of x would be equal to the sum of n equals 1 to infinity of n times 1 over n factorial x to the power of n minus 1. Okay? Notice that here we have an n and in the denominator we have an n factorial. So the first number in the n factorial is going to reduce leaving us with the remaining n minus 1 factorial. So that would mean that thus f prime of x is actually equal to a sum of n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n minus 1 factorial x to the power of n minus 1. And that was just reducing the n and the n factorial, that first element of the n factorial. Okay, well look at this for a second now. So this is a numbering starting from 1, but in both of the places here, notice we have an n minus 1 and an n minus 1. So we might as well just reset up our indexing to let our index go from n equals 0 to infinity. Instead of calling this 1 over n minus 1, we'll call it a 1 over n factorial. And instead of calling this x to the n minus 1, we'll call it x to the n. But remember what that is. What is that equal to? From the very beginning, we had that f of x equals that exact same thing as we have right here. So therefore, we have that f prime of x is equal to f of x, and that completes the proof. Now for the extra credit, did anybody notice what function that was? When you have a derivative equal to itself, the only function whose derivative is equal to itself would be the function f of x equals a constant times e to the x. And so in this case, since when we plug in 0, we're going to get a, uh, we're going to get a value of 1, we're going to have, in this case, that our constant must be 1. So this function is literally the e to the x function. That's the function's power series, and then it has the property that its derivative is equal to itself.